Hulk Hogan and the Wrestling Boot Band with Hulk Rules was the album that was voted on by my community for me to react to. Uh, you may be asking, who's the wrestling boot band that's with Hulk Hogan? Well, that's what we're going to discover today. Released in 1995 and standing at a whopping 30 minutes and 10 songs, I wondered just how bad this thing could actually be. Hulk Hogan is a wrestler, not a singer, so I knew I was not going to be getting something good. There was no way that any real value would come out of something like this, but it was somehow worse than I could have even expected. What you are about to hear is one of the most shallow cash grab albums I may have ever heard in my entire life. Enjoy. Okay, so I don't know anything about wrestling. I just know Hulk Hogan has like the, Err, brother, i am put you in the chokehold, brother. I don't know, man. Either way, it's what you guys wanted, so let's give it a shot. First song, I don't know. Where is the track list? Is there a track list somewhere? Track one. We'll figure it out later. Oh, this sounds like Ash. Is that just the album, or is there like... Oh, there we go. Oh, this is Hulksters in the House. That's what it is. The Hulksters in the House. Get up off your seat. Okay, so it's Home Depot-ass starting music. It's terrible. I also should make a mention that while I was able to restore and save a handful of things, um, I lost the entirety of the soundboard. I was able to back up uh, most of the sounds. Before the stream, I decided to save the most important ones. I lost my way again. Drop and stop it. Fuck all you hoes. Quit again. The Hulkster's in the room. Hulkster's in the room. I can feel it in my feet. In his feet. Okay. Okay, so this is horrible. And we're only a minute in. Uh, and it's just straight up butt rock. That's it. It's just generic. You need a truck that's built up like you. Let's go. Let's go. Well, the image is gone. As if the past two weeks we weren't, weren't suffering enough. Yeah. Let's go. Fuck all you hoes. Detroit till I die, motherfucker. Wow, that was a good transition from Kid Rock. Um, that song lit literally like what? What the hell? What? That, that there was nothing there. There's no substance, no value. There wasn't even a song. That just sounded like intro music to a song. Zero. Get awful. Get me out of here. Nope. Red headphones. Dog. Oh. Next song. Um. American. <laughs> American made. It's American made. All right. Here we go. He's American made. Fuck all you hoes. We're back. Jesus Christ. This literally sounds like a Saturday morning cartoon, like, intro music for, like, I don't know, some sort of toy soldier TV show or some shit. I don't know, man. This this is... This does not sound like... So <laughs> this doesn't sound like it's for an adult, you know? Yeah, this is from 95. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. The song is only like four minutes, but it feels like forever. Wow, it's like swans here at the end, you know? Amazing. American Made is about how Hulk Hogan is a true American and red, white, and blue runs through his veins. And it actually is like the worst thing ever. It feels like it's designed for you to buy Hulk Hogan action figures. I think it is literally, it could not be worse. It could not be more uh, self grand. I, I don't know. This this just, what's the word I'm looking for, man? It's ass. No. Dog. I look sunburnt? 
Wait, really? I think it's the saturation of the, the program. Hulkster's back! Okay, well this is very 90s. Oh my god! Check out the pump, brother! Wanna know? What's up, dude? Uh... I was born, I was bred, I was southern fed. Got a crazy idea running through my head. California is a place that I had to be. Then a speech in the pit really set me free. Yeah. Oh my god, why? <laughs> He's the rap god, Kid Rock. Dude, somehow Kid Rock is worse than this. That's what's real sad. Fortune and fame was middle name. The kind as high as the sky, he remains the same. With the training and the prayers and the vitamins too. Don't mess with us, or we'll beat you too. Are you a Hollywood producer? I, I don't understand who would buy this. Like, I really don't. Like, I don't understand who would spend money on this. That's just the most baffling. It's like, this this was a real CD. Like, you can see behind me. Like, this shit's a real CD. I f Wrestling fans? Dude, this shit, I wouldn't even classify this as music. This is, it's like dead air filling space. No, oh, this thing's got like a $200 budget. It would be a challenge to not make money off of this. That is so awesome. What's up, dog? Jesus Christ. Rock my RVD in the wind, brother. Jesus Christ. What is happening? That committed every sin under the sun. That was as bad as you could possibly get. I'm feeling a red headphones on that. That was Go somehow on. the worst song here. Hulk Hogan aggressively screaming catchphrases over these background singers trying to make him sound like the sexiest motherfucker imaginable is literally so tasteless and awful. It is so frustratingly awkward, and, and it reminds me a lot of Corey Feldman. Um, no, Hulk Hogan does not have a good voice for music, so he just does his signature screams. Well, everyone else does the work for him, but even then, he's not even doing anything of value over these tracks. This is completely disposable. No. What is this? Is this a, I don't know what this is. This is track four. Is this a part of the album, even? I gave her a call. She said everything Bro, what are these images? So I lay on the beat. Oh, wait, no. This is the name of the next song. Wrestling Boot Traveling Band. This doesn't even seem like it should be on the same album. Oh my god, girl.jpg. Wow. Holster chicken sandwich. Oh my god, a key change. Real shit. Oh yeah, Yahtzee, I didn't even realize. You're right, why? There's a picture of Halo, too. Okay, so uh, Hulk Hogan wasn't even on that one, which I, I feel like... How, how are you not going to have the fucking star of this album n even show up? Like, I don't care about the fucking traveling band behind it, dude. You're selling Hulk Hogan's face, and you're giving me something that isn't even Hulk Hogan. You know what I mean? It feels completely dis dis disgenuous, uh, unauthentic, oh. all those words. Oh, yeah, that video was pretty great. Hey, shut up with the smiley balls. You guys don't believe that. Come on, please. That was terrible. Hulk Hogan rap, Bad to the Bone. Of course, a cover of Bad to the Bone. It wouldn't be butt rock without a cover of Bad to the Bone. And motorcycles. Of course. DJ Khaled!
No, this isn't bad to the bone. You're right. It's just called bad to the bone. Also, this, uh, this is awful. <laughs> Oh, God. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. If Hulk Hogan says don't smoke, that means we gotta smoke. I got a fresh pack here. Smoking that Party City pack. Alright. Don't do this at home, kids. Alright, please. <laughs> <laughs> Real big. I don't know why that's a part of this. Oh my god, this picture was taken by Kiss Hansen. Why? Wait, why is it Yahtzee again? Oh, because it was posted by Yahtzee Club with 800 subs. Of course. That's why. There's lore. Yeah, they got their own tag. Bad to the Bone is literally indistinguishable from like any other song like this except for the fact that it has nothing of value. Like it, it literally offers nothing. It's so bad. Dog Next song, I Wanna Be a Hulkamaniac. Oh my god. Nah, dude. No, I can sure tell you how to stay on track. You gotta train, say your prayers, eat your vitamins too. These are all the things that the maniacs do. Positive thoughts and positive deeds. These are the things that make you succeed. Always be good to your family and friends. They're the only ones that'll be there in the end. DJ Khaled! Can't be serious, man. Why? School assembly rap, literally. Yeah, this is what white executives think that rap was, at least in the 90s. Can you feel the music? Can you feel the beat? You don't need drugs to move your feet. When the dealer tries to push on you, just tell him what you're gonna do. I can't. Dude. Wow. <laughs> I gotta say, B. Dizzle's not appreciating the anti drug messaging, alright? When I first started rapping, thought I hit it and quit it. Now I'm about to prove you don't gotta be gutter to spit it. Though I salute to the ones who have had it rough. Well, full of imitators, then I've heard enough. Is this it? It's the worst hook ever, dude. Wasn't Hulk a raging alcoholic and a story junkie? I mean, that's... Like, I, I, I don't... Look, I want to address this, but I don't want to be judgy, you know what I mean? First of all, I don't actually know if that's true. And second of all, if it is true, that sucks. And third of all, if it is true, then that even confirms further that this is just whitewashed uh, boardroom written garbage to sell merchandise to children. And that's it. That's all this literally is. So, yeah. Good each and every day. Don't give up. Wait, there's a music video? 140p audio as well. This isn't real, is it? Bro, this shit ain't a real music video. What the fuck is this? The hell you got me clicking on, man? Always go swimming with a buddy. Work real hard and always study. It was a massive steroid scandal in the early 90s for the WWF and Hogan was pretty much the poster boy for the scandal. Why is this my first time hearing about this? I mean, I, look, I'm going to be honest. Looking at Hulk's body, I ain't too surprised. Shit giving major liver king vibes, you know what I'm saying? Still, with that being said, it's sad, you know? There's, not, there's no winners in this story, you know? 
It feels like an album you'd find in a Happy Meal. That is literally the most accurate description of this thing I've heard today entirely. <laughs> Yeah, that was the worst thing ever. It was. It was just the, the chorus repeated over and over again. It was like the worst chorus ever, and then don't do drugs while simultaneously doing drugs. I mean, this could not be worse. It's red headphones. Dog I mean, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's literally as horrible as it gets. Hulk Hogan, Beach Patrol. Oh, no, nah, dude. I was walking down the beach, looking for some action, had my radio set on a rap rap station. Saw a girl in trouble, a sticky situation. She wanted me to give her mouth to mouth just in time. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Checking out the action, had my radio rocking to a heavy metal station. Putting on some shades, trying to get some rays when I caught the lifeguard. Mess with my face. So we're halfway through this song, and it's the worst thing I've ever heard. It's not even close. I mean, this, like, not only is it ass quality, but it's like taking hip hop and just taking a giant shit on it. And at the beach, you can see so much. Look all you want, but you better not touch. Take it from me, don't lose control, because you're going to have to deal with the beach patrol. The beach what? Good God. I can't do this shit, man. I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, yeah, Summer of Love by the Beach Boys. That is a pretty good comparison. I, I do get similar vibes, actually. Wow! That was... The baby makes this tray. <laughs> Dog I mean, I, wow, that's, that's bad, dude. I mean, not only is that bad, but I can't really imagine how that could get any worse. It really is as bad as it, it can get. I mean, wow. Wow, that is insulting. That is insultingly bad. That is bad on an insulting level. That's not good. Next song, Hulk's the One. He literally looks like a McDonald's mascot here. Oh yeah, it's Yahtzee Club. We gotta hold on to what we got. Oh my god, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? The motherfucker looks like he went through the oven. And like his skull is like this, the remains of him, like under his fucking skin and like god what the fuck <laughs> the actual human oscar meyer hot dog hulk didn't even show up to the studio bro not only did hulk not show up to the studio for half the songs on this thing the ones that he did show up on like show up for the album for are like the worst songs here there is no winning this album is just l after l after l like in consecutive painful order. Oh come on! I'm look. I'm just saying. Look, I, I don't want to be with that guy who's like wrestling kind of gay. But you see what's about to happen here? Literally, literally, Hulk, Hulkster's about to sit on this guy's face. I'm just saying. Well, that song literally felt like a 10 second loop on repeat for three minutes. Dog. <sighs> Hulkster in heaven. Everyone's telling me that this is like the only song worth sitting around for. So here we go. I read it in the papers. I 
I saw it on TV. I guess it'll be one empty seat. When I wrestle at Wembley, I used to tear my shirt. But now you tore my heart. Sir, I wanna buy these shoes. For my mama, please. It's Christmas Eve and these shoes are just her size. Could you hurry, sir? A man died, Brad. Be respectful. <laughs> Excuse me. You're laughing? The world lost another Hulkamaniac and you're laughing? Context for this, Hogan met a Make-A-Wish kid and bought him tickets to SummerSlam at Wembley. Unfortunately, he was never in the UK at the time. Yeah. Has Hulk even shown up on this song yet? Has it just been the band? How are you gonna... Bro, like, how is Hulk gonna have the band make a song for him? That can't be Hulk, Hulk is it? Now, that's his singing voice? Bro, that is him? Oh, man. I don't recognize him outside of his ridiculous character. Now it's not on me. They said together are still our guarantee. Dude, this is such a load of shit, dude. You are my friend. Ugh. <laughs> I'll just lost another Hulkamaniac, huh? My oh my god! I have something in my eye, I'm not crying. Like, actually. Uh, uh, I'm also yawning, that's why I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone's just memeing because it's fucking terrible. Another Hulkamaniac. It doesn't end. Oh my god. Nope. Yeah, no, I, I do actually believe that they just looped. Looped it like three, four times to make a song. Unlike every song here, too. It's not even just that song. I mean, this this album is ass. It's it's horrible. Like, it's it's bad for the reasons of being, like, so lazy so uninspired and yet trying to like push some sort of deeper message it's so offensively bad like offensively bad you know i'm being sold a crock of shit just straight up and they're not even trying to hide it next song hulk rules pedal track yahtzee club oh my god guys yes let's have this sad tribute and end off about how hulk rules you know, like, I'm sorry, kid. I wish I could be there with you. I fucking rule for being a, for saying that. You know what I'm saying? I like pork rinds. What happens if I say yes? What, 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 what do you respond with? The eye of the tiger. The fuck? Yahtzee Club again? I love how this motherfucker, I mean, this this was like 13 years ago. Look at this. He, the, the site for making the achievements there at the bottom. You couldn't even just screenshot it without it. You stand up for your freedom. You stand up for your rights. You make yeah. your You feel like you're being brainwashed. And if I could, I'd make a deal with God. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Hulk Hogan and the Wrestling Boot Band's album Hulk Rules with the song Hulk Rules, which is a red headphones. Dog. Hulk Hogan's personal life and drama aside, this album is the definition of uninspired. I thought that it was one of the laziest things I've ever heard. I thought it's it, it's it's clearly just trying to like get kids, get patriots, and just try to collect 
like demographics in the laziest way possible, it's an insult to my intelligence and it's incredibly unentertaining. <laughs> I'm failing a zero. <laughs> Dog. I don't think a single song on here is good in the slightest. I think that the songs that are bad are horrifically bad. I think that there are so many songs here that are bad because they're just simply uninteresting. And I think that's overall just a really awfully made album. It seems like it was put together in five, like a month, at most a month. Like that's me being generous. I mean, it's like Hulk doesn't even show up on the majority of this. WWE has a history. Yeah, yeah, racially. In no, that's the thing is like, WWE, I've always just had like a bad feeling about that shit. Like I just don't I don't I don't care about it. You know, I just nah. Dude, the tribute song is more offensive than most jokes you can make about it. You're absolutely right. That is so funny. All right, hey, thank you guys so much for this. We are actually going to be doing a second stream today. We're going to be reacting to uh the Paramore album and we're going to be doing that uh with everybody. So I'm questioning whether or not I'm just going to edit this and post this for members only and then do that or if I'm going to uh, record that immediately. I might actually just uh, do, do edit this video real quick and post it. Um, but it should be probably within like maybe I'd say two hours. It'll happen. Thanks everyone so much for being here. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Thanks for being part of the Brad Army. Hoo-ha! <laughs>